welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into this blackout message. This blackout reading, of course, comes with a dream. So let's go ahead and hop in that thing right now. Okay. This dream, you guys, was pretty crazy. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> um, so with this dream, um, some things that stuck out to me were um, a police academy or cadet, okay? Uh, some type of police training. The other thing that stuck out to me was a university, a college dorm, um, a locker, okay? Like uh, you know, a locker where a student would keep their books or things like that. Um, that was very significant. And I think that was the most part that stuck out. Um, so if any of us resonate, okay, stay tuned, stay in the read, okay, because you probably, uh, or a college student, um, because you probably need to hear this, okay? Um, so anyway, and if you're in a relationship, okay, if you're in a relationship, um, so let's jump into it. All right. So you guys, in this dream, I was, um, I, I lived, I guess I lived in a dorm. Okay. Um, and it was weird because the lockers were in my room. Okay. The lockers, um, were in my dorm and in my dorm, um, I ended up allowing my, um, my boyfriend that was in my dream, I allowed him to move in with me. Okay. And <clears throat> thank you, angels and spirit guys for clearing accurate messages. Archangel Michael, clearing around my energy, please. Okay. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ophiuchus is significant. So, um, in this dream, you guys, yes, I allowed my boyfriend to move in with me and, um, I left to go, I don't know, I think I either went to class or I went to work. I left and went somewhere. When I came back the first day in this dream, um, my boyfriend had a friend over, okay? And this friend that he had over, like I knew him, I didn't particularly care for him, but um, I knew they were friends, so it was like, okay, whatever. And so I, I left on the second day um, to go to work. But let me rewind. On the first day, he was like, hey, babe, um, you know, my friend, he uh, he needs somewhere to stay. Is it OK if he stays here with us in the dorm? So I was like, well, I'm really not supposed to let anybody else stay here. I'm already letting you stay here. And he's like, um, you know, just it'll be temporary. I was like, OK, fine. So the next day I get up and I go to work or go to school or whatever I'm doing. I don't know. But when I return, um, I see like in the in the field or in the yard in front of my dorm, there's a bunch of um, cadets or police officers in training that were like attending some sort of training class. OK, but they were outside doing their exercise outside. OK. And I seen them. I um, I recognized a few of them and then I just kind of went went inside. I recognized three of them and I went inside. And so as I enter into my home, um, I see my boyfriend and this friend of his, that's a male. Um, I see them laying on the bed and they're talking. And when I come in, um, my boyfriend kissed, he kissed his friend. And as he kissed his friend, it wasn't like a kiss on the cheek or a brotherly kiss. It was like, uh, a kiss that you would place on your love on your lover. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, what are y'all doing? And he was like, Oh, the friend says, Oh, uh, we're just friends. And they both look at me and I'm like, that's not how friends kiss. Like, what are you talking about? Like there was no tongue. It just, the way they, they kissed each other in the mouth. Okay. On the mouth. It just seemed weird. So I was like, what the heck is going on here? So anyway, um, I told him, I'm like, nah, that's not no friend kiss. I'm like, cause you know what? It's some, some weird shit is going on while I'm at work. I'm not liking this. I'm not feeling it. And so I tell them like, y'all think I'm crazy. I'm like, you guys are sleeping with each other. So, 
um, as I'm seeing them, okay, um, I'm like, okay, y'all, yeah, y'all are sleeping with each other. But it was weird because after they kissed, they both looked at me as if they wanted me to accept it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, they don't want me to tell y'all this. Hold on. I have got to get some water. Hold on, y'all. Because my throat chakra has been trying to close up since I got on the reef. Somebody does not want me to tell y'all this message. Oof. But I'm going to tell it anyway so they can move around. Okay. So anyway, I'm like, yeah, you know, um, you guys have got to be sleeping with each other confirmation because i'm like <clears throat> you guys are not <coughs> you guys are not you know you guys shouldn't be kissing like that and there's no telling what y'all are over here doing while i'm going to work the two of pentacles the ace of pentacles <coughs> okay so i was like yeah no that's, that's not gonna ride so i'm like you know you guys need to get your stuff and get out of my house so, um, like I said, they were trying to get me to like accept it, but I was like, nah, we not doing that. Like, I guess they wanted me to be in like some type of polygamous relationship with them. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. And so, um, I'm like, you can get your stuff and you can get out of my house. Okay. Get out of my dorm. So, um, I tell them that and my my boyfriend he gets up and he starts you know packing his stuff he goes to the car and he he gets in the car and in the car um so someone could be living out of their car okay um because in the car that's the other thing that stuck out is very significant excuse me goodness gracious y'all i'm having a hard time getting this message out hold on excuse me spiritual belch okay so in this car um, as I, you know, I go out to the car and I'm, I guess I'm fussing with him. I'm like, how could you do this? And you know, what did you think this was? And you know, what the heck and whatever. So I'm, I go to the car and I guess I have belongings in the car as well. So I'm telling him like, give me my stuff. You, you know, don't even worry about like bringing it back in the house, just throw it on the ground. Um, because I, I, I just want to, I just want you to leave. I just want you to get away from me. And so, um, you know, he's, he's going through his stuff out in the car and he's taking out my clothes and he's putting them on the ground. Like I asked, so no problem. So the friend is kind of hesitant to leave. The friend's like wanting to like taunt me in a way to like make me see that, yeah, this is my lover and I'm not going anywhere. And I'm like, yeah, you going somewhere. And he is too. Y'all both getting up out of here. Okay. And so, um, the lover, the, 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 my, my boyfriend's in the dream, his lover was like, Okay, the Queen of Cups. His lover was like trying to taunt me. So the lover, his lover goes back into my into my um, dorm and I'm like, yeah, empty out this locker. Get your stuff out of here. Now on the locker were pictures that were drawn. Um, but these pictures that were drawn were behind real photos. Okay, like there were maybe artwork on the wall. But when I took the artwork down um, so that this other lover could get into the locker to get his stuff out behind the the artwork were pictures of like this he had drawn hearts and little figurine people and it was him and um my boyfriend like holding hands and he drew hearts around them and I was like what the heck I was like man get this shit up out of here like get out like get out of my my space like you're not staying here and he was like I'm not going anywhere I'm like no you getting up out of here so I remembered that the police were outside right the cadets um or police in training whatever you call them I remember they were outside in the front of the uh dorm in the field. So I said, that's okay. You don't want to get out. I said, I'll be right back. So I went outside of my dorm and I went to the police officers and I asked the three that I recognized, I was like, look, I need help. Can y'all come help me? Cause they were kind of looking at the commotion anyway, but they didn't interfere. But when I went to them and asked them to come and help me, they went ahead and came over. So when they come over, I'm telling them like, look, I'm getting, I'm trying to get rid of these two people out of my house. Um, my boyfriend had already gotten in his car and he pretty much was fine with leaving. Um, but his lover was still trying to stick around. So I was like, look, dude, he's got to, like, I'm like telling them it was two guys and a girl. 
um, officers. And I'm like, look, please get them out. Please get him out of my house. Tell him to get his stuff. I don't want him to leave nothing behind because then he was like, oh, I'll just come back and get, no. I was like, no, you're not coming back to get nothing. I need you to get everything out of my dorm right now. I don't ever want to see y'all again. Like get out. Right. So, um, he starts crying. Okay. And so the police see him start crying. And so they're like, Oh, well, he's crying. So they start walking away. I'm like, wait a minute, where are y'all going? I don't give a damn that he's crying. Like, get him the heck up out of here, right? It's like he's gonna try to play victim. Like, dude, after you done, you know, did what you did, I'm like, get up out of my space. I let you come stay here. You needed a place to live. Okay, the Queen of Wands. I'm like, I let you come stay here. You needed this place to live. I'm like, get out of my space. You and him go. So as I'm trying to get the police officers to come back, they just keep walking away. And I'm like, why are y'all leaving? Like, come get these people out of my house. So I woke up. And when I woke up, I was so glad because I was like, thank God this was a dream because this felt so real. It was so crazy, y'all. Crazy dream. I was like, what the hell is going on here, right? So, okay. Um, a fire sign could be very significant. A king and queen of wands could be in a relationship and there could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that could be interfering. Or there's um, a king of wands and a queen of cups in a relationship and a queen of wands could be interfering, okay? Or trying to interfere, all right? Um, somebody's trying to juggle or play or manipulate a situation okay or an opportunity um something along those lines is what i'm seeing in these cards here okay okay give me one more card and then we'll take well two we need two cards here two more cards okay the moon all right the moon so there was definitely a situation that was hidden right with the moon card coming out um, we're going to take what's at the bottom of the deck, which is the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow. I don't know what to make of this exactly, but, um, anyway, I feel like there's a feminine energy that's taking her power back or needs to take her power back because her, her masculine is, is having an affair with a man and she could, he could be wanting her to, um, like I said, be a part of some type of polygamous relationship or partnership. But I feel like this feminine energy, this queen of wands isn't having it. Okay. She's not having it. Or this queen of cups isn't having it. Okay. So this king of wands could be um, having an affair with the water sign, a cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine with the knight of cups. Okay. I, I feel like overall, there's someone who allowed a third party to interfere with a connection. And I feel like the person that they, this third party that they let interfere could have been a same sex energy. They could have let a same sex energy interfere with, with what you guys had. And they could have thought that or someone's bisexual, okay? They let a bis they let someone who was bisexual interfere in a relationship that, of that what okay. I'm hearing we could have been. We could have been, I don't, I'm, that's a song. I can't quite pick it all the way up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I can't pick it up all the way, but I'm hearing we could have been. So someone feels like y'all could have been something had this bisexual partner not interfered in a connection. You, however, either in the past, present or future will be or have already or did take your power back from this situation of someone trying to get you to be in some type of weird arranged uh, like polygamous situationship okay you pulled your power all the way back and i feel like you pulled your power back from an illusion someone was causing some type of an illusion and they wanted you to be a part of it I feel like they didn't want you to be, they wanted you to be a part of this illusion because they wanted you to not receive the opportunity that's, that's here for you. This is like a trap. Somebody tried to set a trap for you. What's behind this knight of, pen, knight of uh, cups, the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Either you need to claim your independence or you already did. There's some space and opportunity that needs to be put in between you and someone else, or you could have already seen this and you could have already put this space and opportunity in between you and someone else. Cause somebody was working together here. The three of pentacles. 
they were working together confirmation they're working together here um towards a earth angel they wanted this earth angel to be burdened but you listen to your intuition you broke free and i feel like whoever you are if you've already done this then you're entering a very happy time or period in your life and if you haven't done this already then you need to because what's waiting for you is a happy time of life a happy period of life because i feel like you're not very happy in whatever this is okay I don't know whose message this is, you guys, but I hope it reached whoever it was intended for, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this read, my loves, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank y'all so much for hitting that like button. Have a great day.